Hello and welcome everybody to Nickel City X-Wing and continuing coverage of the XTC 2021 Team Championships. This is a banger of a game. It's USA versus Chile. It's Carson Ray versus Crystal Ball Resistance versus Imperial Aces. And I am not alone. Nope. Perhaps the most uh, surprising choice of co-commentator, a guy who has preached my certain hashtags could make i am joined by the one the only fun walk from team germany what's up man hello it's f to the fun walk calling in and it's gonna be a late night game for me just before bedtime just to watch the americans play against chile yes this should be a great game usa does have a one nothing series lead this is game mm -hmm. two and as we've preached throughout game two is a very important game because it can set your team up or reset the series into a tie. Bonwalk, have you played against either of these competitors at all? Uh, not yet, not yet. Not against Carson, not against Chris. So maybe, hopefully, we see them in the final round of Ecstasy in the big tournament. Yeah, this is... Uh, I mean, Carson Ray has had a couple of games that are just, like, been fairly incredible. They're rolling dice. <laughs> Just as why. a warm up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Practicing? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should do that too, right? Like recently, I'm not doing so well in ecstasy, and and I have a feeling my dice are a little bit cold, so I need to warm up them again next yes, time. Yeah. Get them going. Uh. So, oof. man, what a match! I like both of these lists. It gives a little something for everyone. You got a little bit of beef, but still kind of AC versus. Straight mm -hmm. Imperial Aces. Betting is open, by the way. Exclamation point nickels. You can check how many nickels you have. Uh, Mystical, thank you so much for the follow. And Dr. Diminisher, 22 minutes ago. Thank you for the follow. Free Howler. Hashtag think... Free Howler. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. I think Carson got the bit right. So he gave first player away to Chris on the yes. right side. He did. Which is super important with Vader on the board. Initiative 6 against Poe. Same initiative. Indeed. And this is not a overdrive Poe. It's like an original, original mm -hmm. C Poe. Regular <laughs> R4 heroic. Uh, well, yeah, let's go down the list. Why not? I'll take, I'll take resistance. Since I'm American. Mm -hmm. America and Carson Ray. It's Poe Dameron with the S foils heroic and an R4 astromech. Rose Kiku with C3PO. Jessica Pava with a BB astromech and the S foils and Lulo Lampar with Lone Wolf. Bonwalk, you want to take uh, Imperial? Yes, Chris on the right side, flying very classical Imperial Aces with Darth Vader, fire control system afterburners, with naked, 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 sexy Grand Inquisitor, and Echo with Juke, passive sensors, and fifth brother. So Echo in a very offensive version here. Yeah, have you seen uh, Juke used a lot lately? I, it's kind of disappeared since the days of those Quad mm -hmm. silencers. I mean, it got nerfed, right? It got quite Phantom expensive. Mm -hmm. It got quite expensive, and you couldn't really spam the quad phantoms anymore, so it kind of disappeared. Yeah, keep in mind the stream is on a 90 second delay, so mm -hmm. uh, if I sound stupid referring to something in chat, that's why. I think the people are getting used to it, right? With so many XTC games with a delay, so they are expecting us speaking from the future. I hope they're getting used to it because it's definitely not for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's going to save a couple of weeks, right? Until we have it done with XTC, so... <laughs> yeah. This is going to be the new normal. Uh-huh. All right, I see Marcel, Captain America, in the chat, trying to bait me here, right? Like, telling me that <laughs> Germany's chulas are getting quite heavy from carrying me, but I'm fine with that. As long as we win each week, right? I can lose every game. I'm okay with that. Yeah, you don't care. Mm-hmm. That's a, it's a team game, right? That's like uh, football. Like it's about the team and not the individual. Sure. Uh, yes. Football is definitely not about the individual. Anyway, Josh Allen is my quarterback, mm -hmm. and that dude is a stud. You know exactly what football I'm talking about. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. There's no stars in football. No individual people. Uh, no. A lot of people play together as a team. Well, that's no messy. Tell that. Team. Tell that. <laughs> Well, that's a Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, there are some exceptions, right? But let's take a look at the setup here. This is pretty interesting, right? Like the Asus, the usual, more distributed setup to fly around, to try for the flanks, to bait. We have resistance, we have Tally, kind of, no, it's not Tally, it's Lulu, kind of alone in the upper corner. And Poe, Jessica, and the Rose Pot together as a little swarm in the center. Yeah, I mean, Lulu so makes sense as a flanker. Like, that's mm -hmm. who you want flanking, because you definitely don't want her taking shots with her ability. Um, yeah, I'm a little surprised he's setting up in the middle of the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, because of all the big obstacles, you're kind of limited in your movement with the resistance here. Yeah, a little bit. I'm wondering if they turn immediately, mm -hmm. or if it's kind of like a divide and conquer type situation, not expecting the aces on the Imperial side to stick together. Mm -hmm. We know that Carson is a very, very good player, right? So he has an idea of what to do. Um, I'm just interested to see what his first move will be, right? Because if he's flying into the obstacle field, I'm a bit afraid that the aces have like ex excellent flanks on the side to go in. Right. But I think you're right. Most likely we'll just turn away, right? Or turn in using the open space more. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty safe to go fast with Lulo here. So I think if mm -hmm. you turn right with your, like, your mid squad and then have Lulo start making their way to the right, you can probably mm -hmm. get an engagement where they're all together. Yeah. And that's the game plan, right? <laughs> Catherine says, go USA. <laughs> Catherine go USA. Catherine says, go USA, but if Chile pull off an upset, I'm going to get paid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> smart. Hedge your bets. Yeah, smart betting right in the chat. I think it's very interesting that you're um, starting Poe very close to your jousting block. Because in this matchup, Poe is the last ship to fly, right? Like Super A is flying yeah. after Vader. Yeah, I'm surprised so, uh, Poe isn't a little bit out towards Lulo, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised... Yeah, yeah, just the middle thing, it's, it's throwing me a little bit, because you don't want to start them, like, directly mm -hmm. across from the aces, because the, the Phantom can hit hard, Vader can hit hard, but, like... Yeah. I'm, I'm a little surprised he didn't start all the way right, and then have, like, a turn-in from Rose and the... and Pava. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. That said, Pava is a little more... It is better with more ships around her, so maybe yeah. that's the thinking there, too. Maybe you're right, but on the other hand, you want to keep your endgame Poe kind of alive. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, maybe he's like with a little bit better alone, like to, to keep him safe. But let's see what uh, will happen, right? Like it's just a setup, so a lot of things can happen until the engagement. Absolutely. And I will say, it turns out for Carson Ray, the end game is actually Lulo, not Poe. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, his games, right? Like. Twice, twice he has done it, the comeback from behind. Oh no. Um, maybe he can do it again today and have to, I mean, if he is doing it today again, right? Like, I have to send him to the doping test. Just to see if he's using <laughs> just, trucks for Just send Lulo off. Be like, what's going yeah, on, right. Lulo? I mean, in week one, the game against Niklas Scott, like the amazing Lulu endgame, killing everything. Oh, yeah. That was like fantastic. But then in week two again, right, against Hungary, I think in the last 10 minutes, he was behind uh, 87 points behind, right, with his list, and he brought it back in 10 minutes. Like, I cannot believe that. Mem has started, right. ships are moving. A little bit in the wrong order there, but you know what? We'll forgive him. <laughs> this time. Just one forwards and focusing. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the thought process here is if I can draw the aces into the mm -hmm. big rocks, maybe that plays to my advantage. Maybe it feels like he can maneuver a little bit better than Vader, although mm -hmm. maneuvering better than Echo is going to be a challenge. It's a challenge, but Echo doesn't want to go into the obstacles, right? Echo wants yeah. open space, always to uh, use all the tricks, the bendy decloaks. Yeah, especially a non-collision so, detector, Echo. 
Yeah, for sure. So what phantoms usually do is right is just skirting around the obstacle field and using the decloaks to get the the side slips more or less to say, similar yeah. to the HMPs. So yeah, I don't and... expect Imperial Aces to go full violent into the obstacle field, but let's see what will happen very soon. Last move for Lulo and just gonna mm -hmm. boost. Yeah, no surprises here. Vader's moving quite fast for a Vader. <laughs> oh. Oh, did the one bank. Mm hmm. Gonna close. close. Oh. So open. I don't think close Carson right. has his things is by you know how you have to like reset cash. Yeah, you have to reload that to get the new version so it fits again. Yeah. But he Go will on. get there. <laughs> I believe in him. Yeah, for chat for people who don't know it yet, the configuration cards got updated like a couple of weeks ago. And if you haven't had time to refresh your cache yet in the mod, you will still load the old cards from, from your save file folder. And that will make your actual S4 cards different than your tokens, right? So it could be a bit confusing. 64% of the bets right now on Carson. 11 bets to 6 for Crystal yeah. Ball. The USA fans are all in the chat believing in the man, and yeah. I can't fault them, right? Like Carson Ray, he was two, two no, weeks in a row, and he's pulled out incredible victories two weeks in a row as well. He's probably looking <laughs> for like a normal, like a, just a solid win, you know, like nothing dramatic. He's probably like, <laughs> I need to stop the going down early stuff. Oh man, right? <laughs> but. I'm so, so excited about XTC because um, a lot of the stream games so far have been super close and, and super, super, super exciting, right? Like, it's insane. Like, I didn't expect that. I thought like we get a couple of highlight matches per week and all the other games are more or less like normal, competitive X-Wing. Normal. But it's so many games which are like super close and, and you don't know what's happening and stuff is exploding left and right. Yeah, we've had just... Even even the games I've streamed have just been all like I don't think we've had a blowout yet. They've just mm -hmm. been like great games, and the player the players are bringing it. Like you guys are you guys are going ham for your countries. Yes, and that's the exciting thing, right? We have fans in the chat cheering for country A or country B. You know that you are kind of representing your local community, so you really really want to win. Oh yeah, I mean, I can't tell you how many, like, Hungarian followers I got when I was streaming yeah. <laughs> Hungary's matches, or, like, people from Malta. We've got a lot uh -huh. of Chile supporters in the crowd right now. Oh, Melis, speaking of, thank you for the... Uh, follow? I can talk? I'm a person. Mm -hmm. so You're a very good person. So no, 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 you're a good person. A good person, but... Oh, oh, yeah. I, lo I love this, that we had, like, um... That we are meeting the, a kind of new community, like from South America, from all over Europe and Asia. Oh yeah, the, the collaborations have been so much fun. Mm -hmm. Just like getting to, I've gotten to do a couple games with. Uh, I was telling you earlier, uh, Scum Dan from uh, the uh, Oh, it's beautiful. X Wing SHG. And those have yeah. been really fun. Like, uh, I really want to. So I've been doing a lot of the South American teams because I really believe that they've been overlooked and I mm -hmm. just think they're really good. So I really would, I'm trying hard to get like some collaboration with South American mm -hmm. uh, streams. It sucks that I, I wish I was more cultured so I could be like, yo, I can speak Spanish, we're fine. But I have to be <laughs> like, do you speak English? Because I am swine. Stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. We can learn bit by bit, right? Every week, another South American stream to learn new words. I've honestly probably learned more languages in like this week than I did in all the foreign language requirements in school. 
ecstasy bringing the world together. And here we see Poe uh, flying off the formation, and I think that I like it, right? Because Poe, again, your end game finisher piece, your super ace in this matchup. You really yeah. don't want to, uh, to 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 leash him into a jousting block. I am a little worried about Pava and Rose just kind of hanging out mm -hmm. by themselves, like entering what is essentially <laughs> a joust situation. I think they're going to be fine, right? Like, uh, it's a bit dangerous in the obstacle field, but the aces, the Imperial aces, also don't really want to go into that field. So maybe Carson is just like baiting them into a bad position with okay. his jousting block and Lulu and Poe hoping to uh, punish that on the flanks. Yeah, and the other thing, maybe Carson's a little bit relying on that ace play mentality too, where you're not, you're not excited to like go hard, you know? Like it's mm -hmm. very rare for an ace player to just go fast. Yeah. Radio TCX, first time in the chat, says, go Carson. Welcome in. <laughs> Yeah, Carson Ray and his fan club already present in the chat. Love it. <laughs> Love Carson, it. Carson bought a crowd. He's like, guys, I need support. They're doing Carson chants. Is that like, like USA soccer? I, I believe. I believe <laughs> that we, I believe that we will win. <laughs> Isn't that like American chants more like, oh, feds, <laughs> stuff like that? I don't know if I've ever heard an offense chant, but. That, it's good for defense, like defense. Defense, yeah, defense is boring, right? Why I agree. I agree. But you know, when you play football the way it's meant to be played, there's two sides. <laughs> All right. So Lulu going kind of ham, like expected. But there's a Kron Inquiry maybe waiting for a little one versus one fight in the yeah, corner I think, there. I think that fight kind of favors the Inquisitor because. Mm -hmm. Lulo will have to stress to roll less offense or less defensive dice. Does get more. Yeah. But... And the inquiry, right? You have the force available. You could potentially go super defensive with the weight and force and just tank the shot and then shoot back with maybe a force token for damage. Yeah. And with this move here by Vader, I think Lulo has to be very careful right now. Everything could come mm -hmm. crashing in on her. Yeah. Like with the obstacle field, it will be not so easy for resistance to come to the rescue, right? Because there's a big center obstacle in the way. So I think kind of right. If Ludo's committing to the fight and she or he kind of has to, right? Because that obstacle is blocking his disengagement right turns. He could see like maybe a one versus one with the Grand Inquiry. And after that, uh, one versus two against Vader and Echo without any support. No shots this round. Uh, listen, betting's gonna close when engagement goes, but since there's the delay, I can't be like, it's closing now. So just get your bets in while you can. Yeah, yeah people should get the bets in in the beginning, right? Don't wait for right before the first engagement to see the board stay. That's boring. Yeah. You have to yeah. commit fully and set up. Like, that's the way to bet. Bet with your heart. Mm hmm. Like, I'm losing a lot of my bets, but <laughs> it's still more fun that way if you don't wait like for the last second and to see if there's already like some bot position shenanigans going on. Yeah, they're not a huge fan of Rose's position right now, just because mm -hmm. the blues on the pod are not great. She's pretty not much great at all. definitely going to one bank to the right here, I would think. Unless he just right send left. everyone left. Choose. Yeah. Could choose, but... but either way, that's kind of limiting Poe's. Uh, yeah. Poe's ability to do anything here. A little bit right. Rose will be in the way uh, a bit as a blocker, but I, th I think it's going to be fine. This is not a crucial round for Poe here, so he can tangle around a little bit. No, but every round he's not shooting is a round you're at a disadvantage, I think. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, but on the other, again, right, you are the A6 last moving ship, so maybe you're playing like the usual ace book, uh, playbook, yeah. that you're keeping your endgame finisher out of the fight a little bit, you just wait for the first trades to see what is happening, and then he comes in and just deletes ships, uh, right? 
And Carson's Team USA teammate, Daniel Leon, aka Epionic, says the joust is not honorable. Is he taking shots at Chile? Is that a shot? Yeah, all right, maybe. This is like rude, man. Like, I know they are your, your rivals right now, but don't be rude. Daniel won his game yesterday. That is the 1 0 lead for the USA in this series. Oh, and he's sitting in chat right now, flexing that lead. Yeah. Saying that he, he won that on the Gold Squadron podcast, little known podcast. You guys should tune in if you can. I don't know if you guys mm -hmm. have heard of it, but uh, yeah, it's there. Nice Gitchy bets in 800 nickels on Carson. Now bets, it's actually evened up quite a bit. 15 mm -hmm. bets to 11, 57% on Carson. Yeah. It's still Imperial Aces, right? Like. Yeah. It's so hard. The... It's so hard to go against a, a mm -hmm. Phantom and Vader. Vader is so good. I take back everything I've ever said. Four health ship with maybe just two agility defense. Like Vader's gonna snack on that ship if Lulu yeah. is somewhere near him. I absolutely love where Jess and Rose are now. With, with that mm -hmm. turn in and Vader looking like he's going to continue that turn in, uh, they're in great position. Mm -hmm. You go, I'm worried about. Position for step on the right. Uh, on the other hand, it's after Brothers Vader. Like, there are ways maybe to avoid the fight against Jess. Yeah, you know what also could uh, play a part? I have to read Lulo's card. But they don't, she doesn't have to take the stress immediately, right? Nope. Grand Inquisitor will get the first shot, so she'll be fully free evade for the first shot, and then can take the stress to pump up. I I, don't, I need to actually read the card. I'm not a thousand percent sure I'm a card. I mean, you have to now, right? Do action. Oh, you mm -hmm. why you defend? So she will yeah. have to when she defends. Take yep. it. You have to decide now, right? You could just focus up and not using the stress to be like a normal A-Wing, <laughs> a normal one. I think you have to though, I think it says you must. Why you defend yeah, perform primary attack, if you are stressed, you must roll one. Yeah, yeah, no way around it. So I think in this situation, you're just talking up with a focus and doesn't make Lulu into the super offensive ship here. Especially with Echo in the back line waiting for you. Oh, it goes for the barrel actually. I think that's just to get out of the range three mm -hmm. on Echo and just say, all right, I'll, I'll try and tank this two dice shot. Or, well, Grand Inquisitor can throw three. Yeah, uh, that's a three dice shot for sure, right? And you don't have yeah. any defensive tokens right now, so relying a little bit on dice variants here <laughs> for Lulu. We see an early afterburner charge. I wouldn't hate that, right? Afterburner, so you're straight again, and next turn you can five out to avoid Jessica in the pot. Uh-huh, like it. Maybe you are even in rage of Ludo, right? You're trying for the target lock for sure. Ah, just barely out. Just barely out, but that's so fine. Far. That's fine. Worth knowing, like, that Jess definitely next means turn has a way to, to, to fight, right? But Rose is kind of blocked by the big obstacle in the center. Yeah, I think like a three hard maybe does it for Jess. And then... Yeah, three hard should be fine. And then you're basically using Rose to just coordinate, coordinate. Mm -hmm. you get a focus maybe a target lock for Jess since she won't be near anyone yeah. oh little bump by Poe here like not an issue this turn right but Poe is now a bit angled to everybody so you have to be careful with your maneuvers now Dude, I really don't know where Lulo goes from here <laughs> and there's only one way to go and that's in next turn yeah all right, range two from the Grand Inquisitor. Yeah, and you spent your force here to get the three dice attack. Three dice attack, one force left to modify. This is going to be 3v2. I believe Lulo <laughs> does have to take that stress. You don't have to take stress here. There's no stress on the must. way. I'm pretty sure the card says you must. You must roll different dice if you are stressed. 
Oh, you're if you're stressed. No. Okay, okay. All mm -hmm. right. I thought you had yeah. to take the stress token. No, 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 no. You can decide to take the stress in your action phase, and if you do, then you must roll uh, different dice. That's the uh, card. Okay, so 3v3. I know my cards. Mm -hmm. I know this game. I'm a good streamer. Yeah. It's all right. Nobody's like Lulu except for Cousin Ray. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's confusing everybody. All right, range three. Three versus three. Pretty good roll. Ooh. I will spend I, I, the frost. Yeah. yeah, I vote spend. Three big hits. We're going to go ahead and close betting. Yep. And that's nothing from Lulu. Lulu Ooh. down to one health after the first shot. Oh, Lone Wolf, Lone Wolf. For one evade. That's one. All right. Still half points on Lulu. And next turn, there's really not much Lulu can do to get away, right? Like, because there's <laughs> Vader incoming, there's Echo incoming. Yeah, this is not the ideal start for Carson here. Mm -hmm. Hello, right. ah. only one Inquisitor has an evade token. You can roll if yeah. you want for funsies. But, uh, yeah, but you don't have to. It's evade. You can just laugh at that one hilt. Oh, and there's a little disconnect by Chris, so pausing the game, hopefully. Yeah, that happens with like international connections, right? Like a little disconnect. You should be yeah. back soon, I hope. Got a good connection to Carson. Our connection is in that orange area, which I typically get for like overseas. Yeah, it's normal. Like <laughs> we're trying to speak and, and play a game like thousands of kilometers away, so. <laughs> yeah. The connection is gonna stay orange. Thousands of miles, as we say in this stream. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. I'm not miles home anymore. Make, when you think about it, miles makes more sense. <laughs> oh, maybe people don't like dividing things by 10. <laughs> really? I, I, I kind of like it, man. It's pretty easy to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's. We, we like it harder. Right? <laughs> Wanna do right. things. So the chat's catching up to me being absolutely wrong about yeah, Lulo. Yeah, you got it, you got it, man. Like, perfectly fine. We're just hoping for Chris to return to us. And then Rocker says, keep him in line, fun walk. So I guess you're, you're keeping me in line. It's my up here. <laughs> Marcel says, here we go again. Common Carson. <laughs> my heart. I know, right? XCC games are just way too close every time. And I know when I'm watching uh, Team Germany games, like my heart is just dying every dice roll. Oh, it's I know, insane. Right? I mean, like my heart dies, and I am not even part of it. <laughs> like, yeah, right. It's like oh, Jesus. Like I don't think I will survive the end of the group phase. Actually, <laughs> playing and watching XCC <laughs> games. Like, I'm fully aware that most likely I have to get subbed out in the end because I'm just in the hospital, <laughs> because I can't take it anymore. Right. Well, if you are in the hospital, at least it'll be with socialized medicine and no bills. What's that like? Is it nice? It's very nice, but I won't comment on that because that's a hot topic, man. <laughs> oh, listen, I go, I go hard, bro. <laughs> I ain't afraid very of it. <laughs> Mr. Rocker Cocker says, get your fancy units out of American stream. <laughs> no, it's 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 quite nice. Like I was in a big car accident like a couple of years ago with like big surgery and everything. Okay. And in the end I had to co-pay like I think around 50 bucks for like uh hospital food and, and extra medicine and stuff like that. And they kinda rebuilt me. Like <laughs> I don't 50, even know. 50 bucks to be a whole new person. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I'm, I'm paying cool. it with uh, like part of my uh, wage, right? Like it's getting automatically deducted. Sure. But so that's it. it. Doesn't like, count. Like it's taxes. Like I pay taxes yeah, too. Like, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's kind of like a tax, right? Like a healthcare tax, and everybody has to pay in. Sure. And you guys don't play 
You don't pay like a VAT either. Oh yes, we do. We do. We have taxes for everything, right? <laughs> it's Germany. We have taxes for everything. Yeah, but it and... feels like you don't because like it's not. It's not like this is three ninety nine and then you add tax. They just go. It's four oh seven. Already, yeah. Taxes uh, VAT is already included in our pricing. Yeah, which is a nice thing because Must we be don't nice. have to calculate in our head and I don't have to do math all the time. Uh, I know when I was visiting uh, the USA when I was younger, that was confusing me, right? Because like the price signs were like three ninety nine, and then I go to the register, and then it was something different, and I was like, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, every uh, every travel video I've ever watched about it is like, dear Europeans, when you come to the United States, the price <laughs> isn't what you pay. I know. <laughs> Uh, Radio TCX says, uh, in the Colorado and Minneapolis communities, Carson is known as the Phil Collins of Fort Collins. <laughs> I don't, all right. I mean, I don't understand what that means. Nico Bay says, go, Chris, go Chile. And Andros says, Carson is just trying to get Lulo to one hull. That's part of his yeah, plan. That's where Lulu is most comfortable, right? Like, <laughs> all right, time is running again. Oh shit! I had to stop instead of playing. So I'm fine. It's, everything is cool. It's a very relaxed, good night stream here. Chris from Lancaster says, "Go USA!" As his son gets redeemed twice. Spike, I love you too, bud. We're back to dials here. And we do have some early points. Gerd! Crystal Ball 24, Carson 0. <laughs> NW Vader in the chat. The sugar daddy of the whole XTC, actually. Supporting so us. Oh, nice. Five mm -hmm. Nicest dude ever. I'm gonna let these things go off and I don't think I'm properly. To count counting is like uh overrated actually sure is and yeah. w vader thank yeah. you so much for the gifted subs appreciate you my friend. yeah we have smartphones right now right like we don't need counting anymore oh yeah the x-wing debrief how's it going hello so let's see what can lulu do to get away right like not much actually you could bank in but is that enough you could hard turn in is that enough I'm not sure actually. Like, I think maybe you're just baiting Vader and Echo to shoot into you and hope that Jess, the pot Echo, Echo, will come. Did Echo not cloak, or is this just a disconnect thing? Oh, let's see, right? Like, maybe Echo intentionally not cloaked to have a better engagement next turn because you just want to go straight and shoot into Lulu, right? I mean, that's. And... I Honestly, I think that's a, a good idea because Lulu has nowhere to go. Yeah, right? Like, because with the Bendy, the cloaks especially on the board's edge and right between the rock in front of you. I don't think you have lots of weights to move with the D-Clock, so maybe intentionally just moving forward, just being a, like a normal ship. Target Lock TV says, fun to the wook. Yeah. I assume that's walk. He's like, going for like a walk. But it, it says walk. walk. Actually, I'm very woke. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, I honestly, I don't see any way that Lulo gets out of this alive. I really mm -hmm. don't. I think you're pretty safe sleeping, or no, you just don't have a sleep. I don't know what you do with Grand Inquisitor, but I, I don't know what Lulu does either. I wouldn't be surprised if Grand Inquisitor goes for the block here. Like, maybe with the one heart and then just stay there. In case Lulu really heart turns in and wants to go out. Uh, Tuddy Piotr says, Fun walk, are you even sleeping, bud? Oh, Mark, you sleep? I'm sleeping after this game. I'm already ready for bed time, right? Like, I uh, went to the bathroom, I brushed my teeth, I'm always in my pajamas. So, after this stream, I'm just gonna jump into the bed and it's <laughs> gonna be fine. Uh, Chuddy Piotr and Darth Gratchmo, thank you so much for the follows. Guys, we are seven follows away from a thousand. Look at us, guys. Nice. Big streamer now. Right. 
I know Shadi Piotr, he was playing on my stream just this afternoon, winning a game 200-0 against Singapore. Yeah, uh, Lloyd186 also brings up a good point. He says he declined the cloak because he didn't have a lot of good decloak options. Yeah, the right. only option was it. to the left back, probably, mm -hmm. and I don't think that's the area, the exact area you want to avoid. Mm -hmm. And here comes Jessica Pava. Big three yeah. bank, foils open. Still so far away, but you most likely focus now and get the boost maybe from Rose later. Oh, target lock actually. Yeah, I don't hate it. I think I take this on Vader because I think he's probably one banking. It's gonna mm -hmm. be an obstructed shot, but something. Shot is a shot. But it's coming in onto Echo. Oh. I mean, kind of like it, right? Echo without the free evade. And Rose oh, moves yeah. fast. Yeah, but that's I a stress maneuver, so no coordinate here. Echo! Fancy move to the right. I mean, this is preparation for next turn. Because of your bendy decloak, you can decloak to the left. But I don't think you get a shot here into good old Lulu, right? So you're banking on the fact that Vader will do the deed. Not sure if I like it, actually. Yeah, that's it. Interesting maneuver here. Fifth brother. Maybe he's saying maybe I don't kill this turn, but like oh, man. to block. Yeah, sure. He's blocking the two hard. To go forward and, and evade, and the next turn you cloak and then go. Ooh. That might actually be a shot for Echo. This, yeah. That is that's for so, sure a shot. So calling the three bank here, nice. But Lulu can do things, right? It's Lulu. And yeah. I think Luda, it's time to go focus and boost. Focus. I think the boost probably... Oh, you know what you could do? You might be able to boost, either boost rotate or just focus boost. And then I don't think Vader can shoot you. No, you could just focus boost. Focus boost is all right. If you focus boost to the right, I think you get Lulu out of this. Yeah. So that's why I don't like the echo position here exactly. Like, echo should have just went forward, right? Yeah, I agree. And that is exactly what happens. Lulo, used to the right, Vader is going so to bump. Mm -hmm. oh, thank and Chris. Lulo little escapes little the little death mistake. corner. Mm -hmm. Overlay should be red on your right. Your right. Oh, is yellow. The Darth did it again, right? He's getting away with it. He's getting away with it, and even yeah. now, Echo, decloak position next turn. It's terrible. You can't decloak to the right, you can't decloak forward. Decloak to the left is blocked by your own ship and uh, Lulu. Like, that and bank boost. was not good, man. This was not good at all. No, this is not. This is. This is. Uh, I, I like to call these, like, I don't want to be, like, critical of Cristobal. He's obviously a much better player than me, but this is a little bit of an unforced error, I feel like. Yeah. I think he wanted to be a bit fancy and trying to capture Lulu on the bot's edge. Yeah. Um, this only means that you're giving Lulu the room to do that move here. Oh boy. This is going to be a 3v5 shot from Pava. She does have her native reroll ability active. And that is hit hit crit. Vader only has force. Oh, Ooh, what's going through? Super bad roll. Those candid dice paying off. Mm -hmm. I and think Rose right. has a I'm... shot. This, I mean, this one has almost no chance, right? It's Rose. You get the reroll. You get the calculate. Oh no, calculate. Just reroll. And one reroll here. Stays at one. Okay. And <laughs> Vader evades. It's not always how it goes. Like, you get those evades, but then every other dice is blank, and you're like, holy crap. Yeah. Man, those candid dice, right? I'm a bit, I'm a bit iffy on them. So... Like, the last time I played on, on Sam's stream, on the cannon stream, like, I got destroyed by the mm -hmm. dice. Mm -hmm. The Inquisitor's pretty much dialed in for a, uh, for a Talon roll, I think. You think so? Oh, I don't like it. That would be just too much commitment in the corner. I think Inquiry has to go forward and then boost and try for the flank later. Yeah, well, problem... whatever you do, you need to get him out of the way of the three bank from Vader. 
Yeah. That, it's got to sure. be a three bank after burners. Yeah. Yeah, I think you said... And Echo is like not decloaking at all, man. <laughs> You're just think... sitting there and taking the shots. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't even focus on Echo right now. I think if you get you get to the point where you like Echo is the end game piece, I still take Poe over. Mm -hmm. I would take like Poe v Echo. I would take Poe. Yeah, most likely. But Echo's in so much trouble. Like most likely Echo is turning in, staying cloaked, getting the evade maybe, but then everybody is shooting into Echo. Like Lulu will have the back arc shot. Jess and Rose will turn in. Poe will turn in. Wade has to run away. Inky has to run away. This is gonna be a four versus one for Echo very soon, and this is gonna be a disaster for the Aces. They have stopped the clock, and I don't know why. Oh, he's uh taking a phone call. Okay, Hello. Crystal Ball is taking a phone call. Maybe it's from <laughs> the Miss Chances department. Ooh, got him. Most likely a phone call from his team telling him to not die here. <laughs> <laughs> But it's from the Emperor actually telling his aces to do some work. Yeah. Like... Great beginning, right? Against Lulu with high points, but oh man, this was just a little bit unfortunate. With the moves in the second engagement. Yeah, so so Echo is just hard turning in, staying cloaked, not mm -hmm. taking like... all the shots. Yeah. He's fine. Timer has started again. Alright, back to the business. But yeah, like, we have to get Vader out of the way, like, super fast, like, instantly. And a reminder for the chat, after this game, this is the last XTC game on tonight. So afterwards, we're going to go offline for a second so I can ditch the delay and come back with 1v1 gauntlet matches that anyone can sign up for. The link should auto-post in the Twitch chat eventually sign up for those. And tomorrow we have another USA match at 5 p.m. It is Will Haywood versus JP from Chile. All right, that also sets so we will see the movement face soon. Yeah, here's the thing, like, Echo is moving first on that, in that little, like, block on the right there. Mm -hmm. So, you kind of have to do a two card, right? Because, like, a one mm -hmm. card might be a little bit yeah. risky. <laughs> Alright, Jess is not playing games. He's already ready to intercept Vader later on in the next turn. I like it. Like, a very, uh, prophetic moves here for Carson. Yeah, and Looking Jess the future. already has a lock. So, yeah, I think you just double calc here. There's nothing to really coordinate. You can't coordinate Bo. Mm -hmm. That's is... a choice, but I like it, right? Like, resistance deciding, uh, I don't want to shoot into a cloaked echo right now. I right. want to go into Vader next turn because there's only one way Vader can go. I, I a thousand percent agree. I just think that's so much the right answer is not to waste shots on a echo mm -hmm. who's going to have a cloak, an evade token, and uh passive force for a mod mm -hmm. there any inquisitors out of there so this is mostly a reset turn yeah he has to, like mm -hmm. two bank like we thought this is just focus rotate time yeah lulu super safe so you can do the stress for the additional offense Is the focus rotate? Let's go to Vader. Pretty hard. You. Ooh, I don't know if you want to afterburners because you might no, be out no, of no. Jessica's arc there, but yeah. you still have uh, right to now. worry about. The thing is, like, uh, if you don't afterburners now, next turn you're so limited in your movement. And barrel is also okay, giving you a bit more space, right? Because right in front of that obstacle. Does barrel. So limited for me. Mm -hmm. Barrel rolls and spends a force. But yeah, the aces are on defense here, and they will stay on defense for quite a while. That's not good for them. So this is uh, well done by Carson Ray to just hurt the aces into the corner. Put 
Poe going for the boost and second action. Does he have already a target lock? I don't think so, right? No. No, he doesn't have a target lock just yet, but... It's an easy lock here. Yeah. Nobody's shooting. So the... If you're single modded, the difference between a focus and a target lock is just on the crits. Yeah, There's a slightly the... higher critical percentage on a target lock. Yes. Other than that, it's equal. So if it's between a target lock and a focus, you should typically focus. But if you're not getting shot, Target lock is always nice because you might not have to spend it and that can set up a double modded shot in the future. Yes, that's the reason, the big one. Like the crit shots, that's so small that you really can't care about that, but you he care about keeping on the echo. Lock This is a target lock on Echo, not Vader. Interesting, right? So you're expecting to have more shots on Echo later on. Most likely with that move. This is going to be range 2 on Echo. So this is a 3v4 shot. Echo does have an evade and a force. Yeah, so I wouldn't spend here. Don't spend it. No, keep it. Oh, ah, that was a mistake. For two. I think it was a mistake. I agree. You want to keep that lock for next turn for the double one fight shot. Yeah, and easy evade from Echo here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's just so hard to put damage on. I would have gone on to Vader. You have a much better chance. Yeah, I would have shot uh, like the shot into Vader too, especially with Lulu focus fire here. But what is done is done. Indeed, and since Lulu would be pushing out three. And Lulo's gonna go into Vader. Well, yeah, one what, one what of my big things. Fire, right? One of my big things is I hate splitting fire, but it makes yeah. sense in this instant. Yeah, in this instant it's fine. Like you didn't do any damage on Echo, but he should have shot with Poe into Vader first. Three. Hundred percent. Three evades for Vader. Mm -hmm. All right. Lucky for Chris, his greens are holding. He and he really needs that, right? <laughs> yeah. Because his board position is not great. And that's it. We're gonna go back to Dial. So Lulu is out of the fight for a little bit, and Poe. I don't know if Poe can go straight here. That is. Uh, yes, he can. No, it's. Yeah, easy. I think he's that's. Straight. Yeah, I think he's fine. That's very close, though. It's close, but we are pixel perfect in TTS, so you can do moves like that easily. Cell in chat saying Vader, shoot Vader. I mean, Vader is most likely disengaging, right? But there's a world where Vader just turns in and barrel rolls into the fight. <laughs> which I mean, be quite Vader, fun. Vader could straight 4k and be like, I've got 3 force. Come at me, bruh. Oh, no, I don't like it. That's too much commitment. Like, as an ace like, player, you never want to commit 100% to one space. I'm not advocating for it. I'm just saying there's a world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he could, he could, right? But uh, that's most likely a game losing move, <laughs> to be honest. Mm -hmm. All right, take over the stream for a second, fun walk. I'm going to pee. It's yours, do yeah, whatever sure. you want with it. Yes, finally! Hello everybody, welcome to the FunWatch Podcast. We have like a new link, new URL on the top, but disregard that, doesn't matter. It's a fully 100% FunWatch stream here. Just kidding, just kidding. Alright, let's think about the moves, right? Like resistance, pose going forward, Chess and Rose have a very good intercept option here waiting on the left side of the big obstacle for the aces to come in. But that means resistance is kind of split, right? Lulu has to fly away, Poe has to fly forward, Rose and Jess going to the left side of that obstacle. So there may be a chance for Grand Inquiry, for Echo, for Vader to get uh, a favorable little engagement here. Like, it's a bit of a mind game. Do you expect Jess and Rose to turn to the right into the channel? I don't think, I think so, right? Like, I was yeah, expecting I think, them to go forward. I think Pava's probably going two forward, and uh -huh. Rose will one bank in behind. I mean, they could also be... turn to the right and try to intercept Echo here, because Echo limited decloak options again in this space. What's the fastest way to get Lulo back in this fight, but keep her safe from an Echo that possibly turns in? In your hot turn and then better roll, maybe. Like, yeah. uh, if Chris can Epionic do brings the... up the question. He's like, where does hmm. Echo go? Echo is cloaked, so we'll have the option to decloak. I'm gonna do that yeah, now. I like this. Candy left back, and then you go just uh, one bank right. A candy cane. 
like yeah, like a half candy cane, right? Like just one yeah. bank to the right is quite fired by Echo here. Yeah, Jess is going upwards, so there may be a little chance here for the Imp Aces to do some damage this round because resistance is forced. They are forced to split up. Man, the two hard for Vader, barrel into the fight, one versus one against Poe. Would be so beautiful right now. Not sure if he was sporty enough to call that, but that could be amazing. We're gonna coordinate the lock from Pava. That's gonna come off of mm -hmm. Echo. And it's gonna go on to the Grand Inquisitor. It's a double modified shot, just coordinate action. So focus and target lock. And here's the one bank, yeah, next expected. Like Paul can't shoot into you. Rose and Jess are not looking into you, to you, so Echo is very happy right now. That's a sensor from Echo. Mm -hmm. Jess could be in a lot of trouble. I think you stay here and you kind of take it, maybe? What do you? Yeah, take the evade. You have the force on defense. You can't tank that shot, even double modified. Yep, Lulu, uh, hard turn in. Most likely do the barrel roll. So next turn you have a very good engagement option. It's all about Vader, like... I think the chat's kinda safe move is just to move forward a bank. But yeah. the two hard, the two hard would be so fine here. Two hard barrel roll, taking all the actions on Poe, and just joust him. Yeah, he's going for the three bank, ah! You got afterburner, right? Yeah, do you? Burner range one into Pava. Do you feel like you can kill Pava here? No, you don't no. get a shot with afterburners. You can't. You really can't. Like, if you have to us, you're looking away <laughs> from Jess and getting just closer. Well, I was talking about burning. I'm an aggressive player, Fama. I know you're aggressive, right? But you want to be aggressive and shooting, and the boost would never give you on firing arc. <laughs> oh, one banks and just gets the bump into Echo. So a nice move here by Crystal Ball rebounding. Yeah. Echo is super happy. Super, super happy. So a little bit first... of a problem again next turn, right? Because D clock options again, not the greatest, but you can manage. Certainly you can. But now imagine, like Vader, hard turn, barrel, waiting for Poe, and Poe is bumped range one of Vader. Ah! <laughs> Nothing from the Grand Inquisitor. Okay, that's fine. You're on defense now. Yeah, he didn't spend the force there, so he's being ultra defensive here. Yeah, has to. It's a double modified power shot. But Echo, look at Echo. Yeah, this is this shot should hurt. Yeah, passive sensors for the target lock. Yeah, force. Range one. This could be big for Chris. What the roll! Hit three crits coming into Pava. Oh. Spend that, spend yeah, that focus all day, baby. Yeah. No rerolls here, just spent, man. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> two shields. Lucky to get away just with two shields, right? Like, could have been a lot worse. But now she can do her revenge. Maybe even inclined to shoot into Vader here, right? Because you're yeah, not getting any damage into Igri. I still think I think you should have been be focusing Vader here the whole time. Yeah. Like Marcel if Vader takes out, nothing he can do, right? So you shoot into Vader. RT66 says go Chile, and Marcel Manzano says I hate these moves from Carson. <laughs> you're saying that every time, Marcel, and every time he's winning games. Ooh, so. hey, hey, crit into <laughs> Vader. Vader. Just blanks! Takes another shield. And slowly chipping away. Yeah, this is important, now... right? Any damage into Vader, it's big. Oh, oh unobstructed. Close. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go into Vader. He didn't ping, but I'm assuming it's into Vader. One reroll here yeah, for the Rose. 100% into Vader. It crit. Rose. Vader MVP. rolls four. Got it. That's the evades. Lucky Hellbrook for Vader, says, man. Crystal Ball doesn't focus fire much. 
it's well, aces, right? It's very hard to focus fire when you're He hasn't really aces. had much of a chance to focus fire. He focused on yeah. Lulo. Like, uh, Spike asks, what's the score between USA and Chile right now? USA is up 1-0 thanks to a Daniel Leon separatist victory. That was a big so match early days, played. I think most of the games GSP. most likely on the weekend, right? For USA against Chile. Yeah, I actually have a ton of USA games around. I'm very thankful for team for letting mm -hmm. me stream, especially since I'm out of town starting Wednesday next week. I won't get much. <laughs> yeah, so you get got... all the games in right now for this week. Well, yeah, I've covered. I got, I got like seven games this week just because I want to get as many as I can. Uh, yeah. I've got Will versus JP, USA versus Chile tomorrow, Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern. That is 2100 UTC. And then on Saturday, we've got three games, but not in a row. At 2 a.m. my time, which is 600 UTC, we've got Johan from Sweden versus Navi from Australia. And then at 1 p.m., which is 1700 UTC, we've got Burden from Spain versus Relative Shu from Malta. And then at 6 p.m., which is 2200 UTC, it's Doug from USA versus Martinto from Chile. Nice. Fully packed weekend. Yeah, three like separate games. I'm going out Friday night and then literally like leaving the bar to come stream the Australia game. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like I'm still reminiscing about the fact that Vader could have hard turned in Barrel Road, which won into Pro with everything. And I was feeling it, right? I'm telling you all about that move for, for minutes now. That I'm just like a little bit heartbroken that Chris didn't do the move. Yeah, but Echo is in such a good position right now because you can you can yeah, you... cloak out and then come back in and you're probably still mm -hmm. at the very least you get a block on Poe. At the most, you're probably getting a shot. Yeah, I love it. De cloak right to the back and then Candy Cane back. So Echo's fine and there's no really nobody can really engage. Yeah, yo shield, thank you so much for the follow. Stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. But what do you do with Vader again, right? Like he's so much in danger, like already shields down any more damage and it's half points or uh, Vader exploding. Yeah, it's hard to figure enough. out what to do with Vader. Like, I think you gotta just send him fast and try to get a point where you can turn around a little bit mm -hmm. so maybe you do the three bank and then afterburners to fight with rose <laughs> yeah I'd, I'd rather fight I mean, rose than <laughs> jessica i guess 100 percent, especially with rose if you're getting close enough there's no rerolls on defense for her so there is actually the range one chance of just deleting rose but rose is coordinating again and that's no you can't cloak a po here rose Chill a little bit. I mean, that Chill would be a great a move. What a move that would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Poe. It'll coordinate yeah. Poe the focus because Poe doesn't get enough actions on his own. Oh, no, nope. <laughs> nope. he erased it. To. <laughs> Negative? Because he's listening in to, to correct you. <laughs> Poe's getting the target lock on Vader. Vader's got to be going fast. There's no way. There's no way Vader's yeah. turning it. There is the candy cane. That does that block a too hard left? Ah, uh, yes, most likely. Very likely. Yeah, he's just gonna focus and be like, "All right, Pava, I see your game." Yeah, great position to block Paul because he has to protect his weight, all right. And the Grand Inquisitor is like, "All right, Lulo, let me see if I can finish what I started here." But Lodo is coming in back, protecting Rose from maybe a Vader move. So Vader, best option here, fight forward out. Actually, not to turn into the fight. Does, ooh, does the bank left fit? I, oh, I don't think so. But if it did, that might actually even get you out of Grand Inquisitor. Hard decisions here for Carson, and he was right in the last two weeks. Can he be right again today? That is saying Rose is exposed here. 
don't necessarily disagree. Ulo I see the chat is educating Captain America about T-70s <laughs> and the action bar. Ah, uh, yes. Marcel knows nothing of T-70s. He knows nothing, Jon Snow. Oh boy, this is gonna be a very interesting turn, man. So Carson giving a focus for Lulu, thinking about the boost now. Thinking. And he's gonna boost forward, Lulu's actually. Forward. Mm -hmm. and so building a bit of a killbox against Vader, but Vader, let's yeah. see if he does the five out and flies away. That does get Lulu out of the arc of Grand Inquisitor. Vader's turning in. Oh, and it's a block. Bob, what are you doing, Vader? Why? This was very obvious, man. Ooh, I think this may be the game winner for Carson here, right? With Rose and Lulu shooting to Vader without any defense. Uh oh, spaghetti o, and the two hard from Poe gets blocked. Echo's done a really good job of that. Super. Oh man, like Chris, he didn't do the hard turn the previous round, so he maybe just thinking he's missing out. So he's doing it now, but not a good choice this time. Not a good choice. Well, Vader is going to have his pick of two dice shots. Lulo oh, or my. Rose. I'm kind of tempted. all the rewards. Rose kinda gets all the rewards. I mean, it's 2v2 no matter where you go. So I think you try to at least strip something here. Yeah, you should do it oh, a good roll. That should be to Lulu, I hope. Because Lulu is low health and you may be forcing him. Yeah. That's into Lulu, so forcing him to spend the focus, yeah. which is a win for Vader, actually. Yep, that's a win. But oh boy, like, you have to remember the odd saying, right? When in doubt, five out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just not turn in like that, Vader. All right, here's Lulu now. Three dice on three into Vader. Only a crit. Okay, lucky for Vader, hopefully. Yeah. And two of eight. <laughs> This is a big sigh of relief, like, on the Sheila side. Like, you can hear that literally, right? And Echo's gonna go into Lulo. Sensing an opportunity here. 3v2. Still has yeah, that lock on Pava, but... Two hits. Well, hit I like it, I like it. Lulu needs results, or he dies. Oh, no heroic, right? right? No Lulo heroic. doesn't have heroic. That's a dead Lulo. Oh, boy. So Carson getting kind of punished for, for doing amazing moves, man. Like, he did it right, but getting a bit punished for that. Yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. Yes, indeed. But Lulu is out of the way, and I think she is, like, very happy about that, because Lulu is actually the MVP of Carson's list. Rose now has the reroll. Oh, it's Two two Vader. Vader is going to have to spend a force. Doesn't mind, gets oh, that man. force back. And yeah. that turn this... ends up a win was... for the Empire. Right? But this was so lucky for Vader, like, super lucky. <laughs> this could have ended very badly for Vader in this position, right? Like, a couple of blanks here and there. And yeah. then you have the dead, dark lot of the Sith. Yeah, this is, uh... This is what Carson needed. Go to Gurg for scoring update. Gurg! Crystal Ball, 47, Carson, 0. Thanks, Gary. Thank you. All right, next turn, not too bad for Carson for Resistant, though, right? Uh, Jess has the good 10 roll option here. Rose is just doing roll things. Poe is not blocked anymore, most likely. Here, Here's a thought. Could Rose potentially, like, bank and red jam? Either Vader yeah, or the what? Inquisitor. Yeah, why not? Jam is always great. Can't say no to Jam. Like, I'm not expecting Vader to, to engage, right? He shouldn't 4k here, but maybe Jam, if you expect just to get a shot on Vader. So he has a less defense option. That said, Poe has yet to make an impact on this game. <laughs> I think and, that's. Uh, Carson kind of needs him to for... start, right? Yeah, he needs he needs him to fight right now, right? It's the end game already. With 20 minutes on the bot, 25 minutes. Yeah. But on the other hand, Poe is full health. Like he's just baiting his time a bit. Like all Poe needs to do is like one really good shot, maybe into Vader, maybe into Echo, 
and the game is turning. Noah says it's not the end game. <laughs> it's not the end game. It's it's kind of is. It feels <laughs> it, like, it, it like, feels the, like end the end game. If you ask me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then one of things... Echo, I love. I think I love the D clock to the right back, and then one bank to the left, and you're kind of blocking poor again, maybe. Yeah. And you're, like, you're keeping point in the everything. right situation too, the right mm -hmm. area. Yeah. Like I think you're right, right? Echo could be like the super MVP of the Sheila list right here because if you can block Poe again and again and again, keeping him out of the end game, that's your way to victory. Arsene is going to need to start taking some chances. Mm -hmm. 100 percent. If you're behind, you have to always risk it for the biscuit, actually. Uh, banking to the hard. Oh, I like it. I think I would have loved it to see the yeah, you... to the right more on the one bank. You're not getting the block there, but you are in like a great position. Yes, yeah, still in a good position, of course. Like you, it's you're... not a wrong choice to do that, but I think I would have loved the other move more just to annoy Poe to keep him out of the fight because that is also valuable, right? Pavo with the world's easiest talent roll. Yeah, that was the biggest surprise of this game. <laughs> Rose? No. Is she going to give you... Vader a jam? A jam? Or do you block Vader here? <laughs> no. no. She's coordinating. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just don't, I don't see a world where Poe gets a shot right now. Maybe Vader's doing something silly? Echo's disengaging. I don't like it too much, actually, to be honest. Like, why are you disengaging, right? Like, Echo is kind of safe. You have evade token, you're force, you can shoot. You are one of the best. I mean, you're leading. Of course, aces are leading and they're flying away. But yeah, you it's a little it. early to disengage. I think you. Uh, yeah. 47 points is. I mean, all of your ships are worth over that. Yes, for sure. And I don't think there was any way that Carson could have a uh, good engagement against Echo in this round, right? So. I'm a bit confused by that move, like a little bit too defensive actually, and for my taste, because Echo could have blocked Po and shoot into a Jazz. Echo could have, with the other position, shoot into the Rose right now and doing some damage. That's three shots for you, and you're not taking it. Right, Invaders out of there, afterburners. Probably just a focus. Oh no, I'm gonna barrel roll. And yeah, that's out. Yeah. So the Imperials are in full flight. I mean, this is the uh, ace gameplay, right? Like, you're leading some points, you're just flying. Oh, look at that, it's gonna be a blocked paw with the stress looking in the wrong direction. I, I mean, I can't complain, right? Like, Chris is leading, so he's doing things right, actually, but he could have done some more annoying things <laughs> against Carson. I would have celebrated yeah. that a lot more. <laughs> because I think with this maneuver here, with all the stuff uh, Chris is doing, he's in the lead, he's doing fine, but he's giving Carson a bit of a way back into the game. He's giving him space and room. And we all know what's happening when you give Carson Ray room for the comeback, right? Two eyes, this is Pava onto the Grand Inquisitor. And not gonna spend the target lock. It's gonna take the Jessica Pava reroll. Two hits coming yeah. in. Inquisitor, Inquisitor yeah. not a problem. <laughs> like, you know, uh, in American handball, when you're playing games and you're in the lead, and then you take it easy, and you put, uh, you, you don't pressure your enemy anymore, your opposing team. What's this American is what handball? Doing, right? What is American yeah, like, handball? Like this... Luka Doncic, right? And, and LeBron and, and Michael Jordan, like American handball. And Are you talking about basketball? Yes, basketball. That was the right word. And you know, if you're in the lead, you kind of have to put your foot on the pedal and just keep the pressure up because you don't want to give them a way back to victory, the opponent team, right? And yeah, I have but, the feeling but, like this is just like taking away the pressure. Said, all these aces are faster than all these ships, and Poe has to one bank here or he's just going to eat a rock. Like, yeah, but we have time, 20 minutes, and... Oh man, I'm just like a little bit too afraid that 47 points lead is not enough in the endgame because there could be a round where Carson Ray is just doing 
amazing on the dice is going full ham on Vader, on Echo, or maybe on Grand Inquiry and just deleting the ship. And then you're losing the game. Now I'm interested to see what Crystal Ball's idea here is. If, if it's just to run for 20 minutes, that's a bold strategy. Yeah. I don't think you can't, right? 20 minutes is plenty of time to catch at least one of these ships in a compromising position. And then you're doing some damage and... Like, I don't want to be too negative here about Crystal, right? He is leading, he's doing amazing. But... I think... He's disengaging too early. Just disengaging a little bit too early. Nako's turning back in. So, maybe mm -hmm. the plan isn't to disengage. Maybe it was just more of a regroup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is also playing in the hands of Carson, right? If you are engaging... Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Grand Inquiry, there's no way. In They're all the focus. heavens and hells. Yeah. You have to get out of Rose Arc, at least. But it's still a ranged one-shot from Jess with double modification, right? Focus and rerolls. Yeah. And that could be the dead Inquiry we see, or half points in Inquiry to get Carson back into the game. That's it. Jess is only two away from half. Mm -hmm. Like, Chris is not disengaging now, right? He's not playing the runaway game. He's just looking for another engagement, but he could have gotten that engagement the round before and punished Carson for being out of position. And now you're giving Carson just a way back to have an engagement which is a 50-50 maybe, or even in favor of Carson. And I don't like it. Because if you play Aces and you're going for the 50-50, there's a good chance that you explode and lose the game. Does Poe want to get aggressive here? Gonna go for a target lock. Yeah, preparation for next turn because oh man, there's a good chance Grand Increase taking some heavy damage. Oh, but I think this is <clears throat> I was just like this a bit into unfortunate a... for, for for Chris here. Just a little bit unfortunate. The target lock gave you the information on whether or not you're gonna get shots. So you know that echoes out. Yeah. And this is Grand Inquisitor on Pava 3v2. Try to strip the token. It's a good roll. I think you spent a force here, yes. Uh, and the next force you're gonna spend to make just shots, not a range one, right? You can do that. Yep. 3v2 here. Pava does have Pava reroll available since you already have the. Takes one on the shields. Right? Was it one? Yeah. It was. Oh, it takes three. more. It takes more. Yeah. Half points. That's half, half points, points on just. Pava. That's a huge half point right there. It's huge up points. Like, that makes losing in Queen not game leading for Carson, but still. Oh boy. Ava, range one. I assume the Inquisitor is going to spend. I hope so. You don't want to see four dice here, man. <laughs> you uh, have yeah, to focus he... on that must have been like a vocal thing. Is it? And any, if any blanks means you're gonna be sad. Sad Inquisitor. Sad Inquisitor. Three defense dies, one focus token from the inquiry. Do we see the blank out? Full blanks. Oh, oh! cast a curse. <laughs> I told you, I told you all that time. You can't do that move, man. It's gonna be the blank out. It's gonna be a crit. It's gonna be a direct. Is it? Little leg issues? Yeah, Chris's ping is really good. Fuel cool. <laughs> okay. The fuel leak. Only that's... a fuel leak, but man. That's, I mean, that's this a Blake means... crit at this point in the game for the Inquisitor. Yeah, yep. doesn't matter, but this means Inquie. Just a breathe of wind, right? Like just a leaf hitting that ship is going to make yeah. it explode. Keep and that in mind, Vader so is scary. one away from half. Yeah, that's also a lot of points, like. I know I'm a bit negative on Chris's choice in the last two turns here, but man, you're giving Cousin Ray the comeback and you can't do that because he's gonna take it. He's gonna take it every time. Lloyd from the 186 says it's worth noting that Jess is more expensive than the Grand Inquisitor. Sure, but you have to kill Jess first, right? And Jess has uh, still three health, Inquiry has one single health. And Vader, three health, like Poe is full health, right? He can just jaws Vader and come with a better engagement, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, at this point, you have to get Poe involved. Like, he's, he's mm -hmm. done not shooting, right? You've got 15 yeah. minutes left. 
you need a kill and a half. Like, it's like time, is stressed. Time to get we know her done. Where Vader will be. We know where Vader will be, right? Because he's stressed, he will do a blue right. move. And, and he's out of that, afterburners. No yeah. more afterburners. So, Vader. just coming in and. 100%, you're just straight out jousting Vader here, right? You take damage on your shield, and then you shoot back into Vader, kill him. Like, 100%. The, the chat's just catching up to your curse. <laughs> I know, but this was like just so clear that that could happen, right? Like, the chance that that is happening is so big if you do move like that, and you're kind of inviting the results. All right, so... Dare I say that this is one of the biggest turns of the match so far. Yes. Getting, if you can get another, I call them like units of points. Like each half point, a half point a kill is like each a unit. So that's like two units. Mm -hmm. Carson, if he can nab a unit of points here, that sets him up in a good position in the final 10 minutes to grab yeah. kind of like a, a next unit wins type match here. Yeah, for sure. And it's so easy to do, right? One health on Inquie, one uh, yeah. health on Vader. Inquisitor's Nothing. down to one force as well. Mm -hmm. Flying the mighty so this says, position yes. doesn't look good, actually, for Chris, right? Because Jazz, Rose, and Poe are going full all in on Vader and just killing the Dark Lord. That's a hefty 75-point swing if you kill Vader. And there's yeah. nothing Vader can do. There's nothing he can do, really. Flying the Mighty says, I have no idea why he turned back in with the Grand Inquisitor. Agreed. And yeah. Giles and Dice say, this is what Carson does. I mean, you're right. If you give him the, the, the little finger, he would take the whole hand. That's for sure. Is this and... an all-in? Is this going to be yes, an all-in on Vader? Yeah, 100%. You're winning the game with that. You go all-in Vader and kill the ship, and then it's for over. Pretty much over. There's the turn in from Echo, who's just happy to get shots. I think the big deciding turn was like the turn where Chris decided to disengage actually and not punish Carson for the bot position. And he's is this... now like getting punished for that. This is a himself. little bit like Poe is in danger of half points here. Oh, what? Oh no, he had undo. It's not a barrel. Yeah, and misclick. Okay. A little misclick. Okay. So I know, but high points on Poe, you take that, man. You kill you kill Vader for 75 points. You give up the 33 points on Poe every single day for that. Vader, three forward. You have you to assume try. this is lock focus. No, right. I think you have to focus, turn, barrel right, get away. Minimize the damage here. What if, what if Poe calls it and zooms? Yeah, that would forward. be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be just Carson winning the game outright. But Vader, oh boy. <laughs> Here's the lock. Vader gets multiple actions. Don't don't count him out yet. Yeah, but still, every action you take after this one is gonna use up one of your precious force tokens. I think but I think he's saying happens. that like if I get Poe, I win this game. I don't think so, because there's a good chance. You're losing Vader for 75 points. You kill Poe for 65 points. And after that, Inquie on one health. Hmm. Hey, Dragon Not Fang with the raid. Health. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Oh, Poe, are going for Vader. Oh, Cass, what are you doing? Focus boost. Does a boost do it? No, not sure. <laughs> I don't think so. But you have to boost to get out of uh, increased arc, right? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think this is good for Poe because you're not getting shot at by anybody and... Yeah. Poe is gonna... Stay I don't know why you focus there. Too close. I think there's no Stay reason to focus. Target. Keep your talent roll open. Mm -hmm. I think I agree, but... He wants to play safe here. Yeah, Poe and Vader are no shots here, just missing each other. Which means Echo has a shot, maybe? Echo should get... Uh... Oh, he's just gonna take a calculate. He, has, he, has he a already shot got on. the target lock. He already got the oh, target yeah, that's lock. Right. On mm -hmm. Got him, so, so calculate there. Yeah, like it. Could have been Say. a focus, <laughs> actually. Would have been a little bit better, but yeah. 
He was expecting uh, Po to be in range 1, right? So he could take the target lock on Po. So that yeah. passive sensor is fine. Okay, this is gonna be big. Can you do lots of damage into Jazz, who is already damaged? Uh, use the target lock. <laughs> You roll all three or just one? Because you're guaranteed two right now if you calculate in uh, this brother. He's just going to roll one. one. Fine. Yeah, one Pays is fine. Off. It's, 50, 50. it's going to be hit, hit, crit. Yeah. Pava. As a focus, can spend Pava recharge or charge. Mm -hmm. Will stays. Pava's going to spend and take a crit. Oh, crit could be important. And one thing oh, we have forgotten is that Pava has BB-8. Oh no, right, not blinded! blinded. It. Yes. It's blinded! No! No, no, no! That's not what she needs! This is what Zaveda is needing, man! Right, make it away with it! Oh boy, Chris! He's doing the reverse casting ray! We are thinking Chris is not in a good position, but he is actually in a good position now, because Jess is nothing! Oh, Rose, though. The snipe. The range 3 snipe. I'm afraid of that. Always. Reroll. One reroll. Oi. Four dice for Vader. He does have a focus. Still has two fours. The Rose range 3 shot. That's an ace killer. I'm telling you that. <laughs> Top, Only roll one. 3. Oh, well, that's not good, though. He's gonna yeah, have to reroll that. It is paint. You gotta spend your focus. Yeah, just barely, right? This is yeah. like the roast range cleave snipe. That's so dangerous. This is the most dangerous shot in the game, actually. And Vader just barely surviving that. He just needs netties. The only way you can do it is with netties. Indeed. Uh, oh, that is. It's netties. It's blank netties. It is. It is netties. <laughs> it's. A different type of natties than I'm used to, but, uh... Yeah, yeah. it's the natties. Eight minutes left! Yeah. And I think you're right, taking that stress on pole, not good for Carson. Oh, let's see, Echo should be cloak here, I think. The problem, like, for, for Carson is with the stress on pole, Rose cannot coordinate him, like, he should have been stress-free, and then Rose can come in for the coordinate, and then you can do your tricks. Yeah. And 10 roll maybe or 4k or whatever yeah, yeah so here's what i'm thinking one forward from jess using a bb8 to barrel roll or not bb a bb astromech charge to barrel roll take a focus yeah. clear your blinded whatever the bank from rose to coordinate the whatever one you didn't do the blinded or the focus and mm -hmm. then pose got a too hard yeah i like it i absolutely like it good idea yeah, I really wish yeah. Poe wasn't stressed here, so we could mm -hmm. Talon roll. I mean, Talon roll is a bit close, right? Like, uh, it should fit. It should fit, actually, I think. But yeah. I think I think it fits, and more importantly, I think you have to try it, right? Like, you've yeah. got two turns left, maybe? Yeah, maybe two turns, maybe three if they play very quickly, but I don't expect that. Pico so... Squadron Podcast, thank you for the follow. Hello. So I know we were criticizing Chris a little bit, but he's still in the lead. He's still not in a bad position, but Honestly, increase he's, one he's health. Made, he's made choices that like don't like I, that I wouldn't make just because like it's not the way mm -hmm. I think. But like they've paid off, yeah. right? They paid off, but I think he also got a bit lucky on the dice. <laughs> a little bit there, with the right crit in the right situation, right? Blinded pilot on Jess is amazing for Vader. Yeah, but Jess wouldn't have had her rerolls there anyway because she spent her reroll on defense. She has BB, man. Shot. She can use the BB charges. Oh, that's right. Someone's on saying, I don't see how this turns. It's always nice for your <laughs> captain to believe in you. <laughs> like, that's still ways. It's Carson, man. Like, it's not over yet. Like, again, Inqui, one point away from dead. Vader, one point away from half yeah, points. Yeah. And only three away from just exploding. That could be a big point swing. And looking here better comes the Echo. Mm -hmm. Coming in. I I didn't see this coming. I figured Echo would just stay out. Yeah, that should be safe, right? Because I don't think Jess and Rose will turn into that fight. We see BB here now. I like it. Moving forward. 
sticks in the crits, and then you get the coordinate from Rose for the token. But that means Echo ranged one shot into Jess. But well, Jess Echo, gets the range one shot to move, into Echo, so right? We'll see where Echo oh, goes. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It was just the decloak, right? Sorry. Yeah. So that is fine for Echo, actually. It was a 4K! <laughs> oh, the no! 4K! Oh, Why? Echo! Echo, you sweet, sweet ship! Yeah, this was a bit bad because uh, Rose backing in was very much expected. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Nobody's shooting into Echo. She's fine. Man, this game <laughs> is killing me already. Don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. Vader! 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 again! Range 1 of Jess with our blinded pilot! Double mo why is he doing it again? Why? <laughs> oh no! Oh, if you're Carson, you gotta. Vader? You're Carson. Just Carson's... make your make your move, bro. Oh wait, He's did that bump right now. Yeah, Carson okay. Ray is so happy. Marcel Manzano should be so happy right now because this could be the game. You're killing Vader, maybe. Most likely, it's a range one double move fight, Jess. It's Rose shooting into Vader, like. Oh, closes foils. <gasps> Yeah, Poe is not important right now, like... I don't know what Vader is doing, man. Oof. Always bumping into the enemy formation, like... You are getting away with it in a couple of turns now, but... This turn, you're not getting away, like 100%. Alright. The Dark Lord of the Sith. Yeah, you're hoping range 1 to kill Jess, maybe. That's the only hope you have left. Three dice into Jess Pava. <laughs> Pava yes. is on two, so this this is not like a gimme for Pava. No, but you do you really do have to see three crits or hits on the board right now for Vader. Because if you're not, I think you're losing the game. Okay, that's one hit. No, he just rolled one die. He's he's lagged, so he's one rolling them <laughs> one at a time. Yeah, it's not good. And not good at all. A focus. And he'll spend a force to convert to two. One of precious force token. Jess. One when ghost. You oh, he can spend. Two evades. Yeah, oh man, this is disaster is. for Vader. No damage into Jess. She still has a reroll and still has a focus token. I think Carson Ray is doing it again, man. He's doing it again. <laughs> and I kind of believe it. Rose. Her. It's a reroll. Mm -hmm. It is an eye. An eyeball. And yeah, she has to sense. calculate. Yes. Two hits. Three dice from Vader. Oh man, Chris is so laggy. Very unfortunate. One evade. One blank. Third dice. Force! To spend another force. But now, you are down to one force token, and the big shot is incoming. Here it is. Despava, four dice, Innovators, three. And she has a BB, BB charge, charge for a reroll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great minds. Ooh, not the best shot, but could be enough still. BB charge. BB charge for the reroll. Two hits in so far. A three gets a crit! Big! That is big! This could be it a dead way. Right? <laughs> rolling blank. one at a time thing is killing me. Another blank! blank. And Three another blank. blank! That's a dead Vader! Three he points it. Dead Vader. Vader did it again! He did it again, but that's is just Vader's fault for just parking range one of chest. 100% oh and Carson Ray in the lead. I cannot believe it. He's done it again. Every single week. Every single week he's doing the comeback and I... I'm gonna report him to the authorities. I'm just gonna report him now, like... Let me start an email. Dear sir or madam. In regards of Carson Ray for playing XTC for Team America. Ray... E, the last doping control test. <laughs> oh man. 
You just like I'm on bated Zano. breath Somewhere waiting this word, for the Mazzano jab Mazzano to catch up. Jumping up and down. Let's say again, please. I'm I'm like waiting on bated breath for the chat to catch up. Hmm. It's gonna be soon. But uh, like, oh man, Chris, why are you doing that? Why are you banking in? Why are you bumping with Vader? Like, that was not necessary. You are not stressed anymore. You can just fly away and win the game. Oh. <laughs> Chris is not even removing Vader from the board, right? He's just so sad about it. And time is running out now. Not sure if... Uh, I think they're gonna they play to... one more... Yeah, maybe one more turn, but... Echo is stressed. Inkwe is looking in the wrong direction. Everybody's behind Inkwe, like... I don't think there's any chance at all that Chris oh, can... Here it comes, one more. Just take it in. Fabrini7, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Disley underscore TSR. First time comment in chat is just Jesus. Yeah. He's, he did it again, and I am pretty sure right now that something is rigged in Cars and Ray games. Like, I, he's yeah. paying a lot of American dollars to his opponents <laughs> every single time. This like, is... you can't do it three times, right? Three times already. You can't do it. This is crazy. Honestly, this is crazy. That said, he has to keep Pavel alive. Yeah, he has to not get, right, like, get Rose half pointed. I don't know. I don't know how you get shots. I really don't. I do. You can't. Like, Echo can't get shots. Uh, you may be telling Roll with the Grand Inquiry, but then Jess Pavel is flying away. <laughs> Focus up. Yeah. Staying close to Rose or Poe for the rerolls. And you have to do two damage into Jess in that situation? Like, oh man. And this is just gonna be a one hard turn to get a shot. Yeah. You're stressed, so you don't get any actions with only one force. Like, ugh. It's not ideal. I'll give you that. It, it, I mean, it could happen, right? Like, maybe with Nettie's and flank outs on defense, but you're hoping for the perfect dice right now <laughs> to get yeah. back into the game. And I'm not so... sure if you can get it. Rose, I think you just send as fast forward as a blue will allow and focus. Coordinate and everything. I wouldn't even coordinate. I would I would take the focus. Yeah, maybe. Or double calculate just to be cheeky. <laughs> Alright, Ava, the too hard. Yeah, I like it. Just Charleston the Inquiry here on one health. One bank. I think this is needlessly risky, to be honest. To be very, very honest with you. Yeah, it's a bit faster. right, like, because Echo is hard turning, and there may be a way back for Chris if he can. Is hard damage on Rose enough? It's have to, 15 on Rose is not enough, uh, so I guess enough, it's not that okay. risky. Mm -hmm. I mean, a full all kill of Rose, though, enough. all of Rose is enough. I mean, that's okay, not, have, right? it's not <laughs> likely, but it's not impossible. Magic242, like thank right? you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we are two away from a thousand. Crazy. Nice. I think we're gonna get it this game. Like, lots of people watching Cards and Ray doing the comeback thing again. So it's unreal. This is the third four. game in a row if he pulls this off. Yeah, man. I'm starting to hate it, actually. <laughs> like, his poor opponents. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so, Jess. Papa's worth Jess 26. Mm -hmm. If Jess That's dies not and nothing else, uh -huh. it's 101 it's like a to 100. It'd yeah. be a one point win. win. It devours. Yeah. Thank you for the follow. So we are very close. Poe is coming in, and I think Poe is just deleting Grand Inquiry here. All right. For oh, Chris, going for the shot. Has to cheer on the dice right now. Reroll from the tag lock on Poe. Oh, the Chile fan cheering on the dice. Oh, it three Ooh. hits and grits. 
and it's a blank and that's a dead inquiry and that's game over that is it. game over for poor chris he was doing so well and then he just parked vader arson ray the third game in a row pulls a victory that honestly he had no business pulling yeah from nowhere i am 100 percent sure cast ray is sending lots of american dollars in to foreign countries to make that happen every week. <laughs> I just cannot believe it. Oh, why? No, Dom, thank you for the follow and congratulations. You are a thousandth follower. We did it. Does he win anything? Yeah. My undying <laughs> gratitude. That's nice. That's a wholesome. Actually, I now want to play against Carson Ray, so he will send me lots of American dollars, so I lose my game, which I will do anyway. Man, I don't want to play against good, Carson Ray. It apparently doesn't matter how good you play, he's just going to go ahead and beat you. <laughs> yeah, this was, like, sadly, a little bit up to Chris, right? Like, there was no need to park Vader <laughs> into that position, man. He did it a couple of times before, right? Parking Vader in not good positions, and the dice kind of bailed him out. But you yeah. can't do it again and again and again to expect the same outcome. Like, it's not possible. So this is on Jess Pava. Two crits coming yeah. in. Pava should only roll two here. Yeah, yeah but that's easy defense because of rerolls. It's one reroll. Is it? Is it? Oh. oh, that's a crit. Yeah, direct. Let's see the direct. I don't think it's enough, but it it's is. A direct. It's a direct it to is. make it more dramatic. It actually is, but that's not enough at all. Of course, Inky is dead. There's no more shots incoming, and game is over. What a game, man! Like, <laughs> I wanted to go to bed after this game, but I don't think I can. Yeah, Carson Ray down the whole match, never led until the last two. Well, I guess the last two rounds. The last two rounds of shooting pulls out a 127, 101 victory over Crystal Ball. And that sends USA up 2 nothing in this series. What an unreal match. I cannot believe it. Is Cousin Ray maybe the best player in the tournament right now? Oh, I, I just... <laughs> yeah. My brain just is not computing that. Unreal. I am not computing that at all. All right, Greg. Hey, I really have good match now. Yeah, like, thank you I, so I, much. I, I, I will dream about that match most likely, man. <laughs> if you guys haven't followed Fun Walk, he will be streaming more XTC matches. Yay! Most likely next week. Like waiting for Greg to go on his vacation so I can steal all the American games. <laughs> <laughs> They keep pinging something. No, thank you very much, Greg, for inviting me. That was like yeah. very cool to watch. Like I'm very happy that I saw this game again <laughs> to see a comeback, Ray. Yeah, this, is, this was an insane game. Um, the, the key Carson keeps pinging something. I don't know what's going on. I think he's flexing. He's flexing his muscles. <laughs> Maybe they're talking about the game. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, of course, like always after the game, you do like your feedback round and then telling about the moves and what was right and what was wrong. So that's very normal, but let both players enjoy that a little bit in, in peace. And thank you very much, Greg. I will remove myself from your server now. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good night. You too. Have a great night. All right, everyone, uh, I'm going to say this and then wait 90 seconds. I'm actually going to put it on my clock so I actually managed to wait 90 seconds. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to end the stream and then restart it without the delay, and we're going to kick off our gauntlet matches. If you don't know what a gauntlet match is, these are 1v1 matches where the uh, crowd can kind of impact the play. Excellent Tavern Wars, thank you for the bits. Uh, so I'm gonna put 90 seconds on the clock there. <laughs> 